episode of Orgasmic Living. I am Patty Alfonso, the Orgasmic Body Whisperer, empowering you to live orgasmically by including your body in the creation of your life. And today's topic is, does orgasmic living include being too much? Huh. And the answer to that is, of course it does. <laughs> now, what is too much? And I heard Dr. Dane here give this sort of explanation of what too much is. And he said that too much, and I'm going to read it because I want to quote it word for word because it's amazing. Anything more than the limited amount of energy that someone else is willing to have. Whoa, anything more than the limited amount of energy that someone else is willing to have. That's what too much is. So if, if you're with someone and they're willing to have this much energy and you are this much, then you're already too much for them. But if you're around someone who's willing to have this much energy and you're this much, then you're too much for them. Anything more than the limited amount of energy that someone else is willing to have. And I want you to take a minute now and look at, get present with, is this how you're choosing to live your life? Based on what someone else is willing to have. Based on the limited amount of energy that someone else is willing to have. I am this much <laughs> all the time. I came into this world with an exuberant amount of energy and I was way too much way too much for just about everyone around me at that time. Way too much. Most of, like, I laugh now because it cracks me up. Like, my dad, the most things that he would say to me is like, shh, uh, tone it down, shh. That's the energy that I got from my dad a lot when I was growing up. And that is the limited amount of energy that he was willing to have. Now I wanna share with you three tools on how to deal with this in just a minute, but I wanna give you guys um, an example of what this can look like. Hi, beautiful, welcome, thank you, thank you. Kinga says, amazing topic, how does it get better? So I was actually in Las Vegas last week and I was interviewing producers for my upcoming TV media tour, yay, how does it get better? And um, there was this one particular producer who, he even said to me, he was just like, ugh, you're too much, like you're too much. And, and it was such an interesting exchange because it was the, the same amount of energy that I was being with all of the other producers who happened to like adore me and think that I was awesome and couldn't wait to work with me. But there was this one guy who was like, oh, I don't like this, and you're, you're too much, you're too much. And I looked at the guy and I was like, you know what? I am not for everyone. I may be too much for you, but I am not too much for a lot of people. And if I am too much for you, then I am definitely too much for your audience. Thank you so much, next, right? And so this, this is related to the tools that I wanna share with you. This is how to be present with someone else's limitation without allowing it to affect who you are and who you are in the world. When I was younger, I allowed my dad's limited, limited amount of receiving, limited amount of energy to have an effect on me because I came into this world just exuberantly happy and joyful and ready to play and, and to do all the amazing things. And over the years with that continuous message being delivered at me of like, 
be quiet, sit down. You know, one of the, the favorite things was like uh, kids are are to be seen and not heard. You know, so there was this constant energy being delivered at me of like, no, you're too much. You need to be quiet. You need to sit down. You need to not do this. Don't do that. And so for many years, for the first 30 years of my life, actually, I let that energy shrink me down to like nothing. And I was miserable. I was miserable and not creating my life and not being present with all of the energy that I really be in the world. And so this this event that I attended where I was interviewing producers for my TV media tour, it was so mind blowing because I know this, but I got it on a different level that all of the energies that I was made wrong for in my family were the exact energies that were actually required to create this media tour. That exuberance, that joy for living, that orgasmic living energy. Everything that I was made wrong for was exactly what was required, except for that one guy, right? But there's always gonna be that one guy. There's always gonna be that one person who shits on your parade. It is your choice to let that one person shit on your parade. So here are three tools right now that you can start using. Number one, you don't buy it as real, okay? This other person's limitation is their limitation. It doesn't actually have anything to do with you. You know, I'm sitting here interviewing this guy. He's one out of uh 11 right i've done five so far he's like the sixth person i've been this exuberant amazing energy here comes this one guy and he's like oh you're too much and this isn't gonna work and you're fake and la la he just started delivering all of these judgments and i just sat there and i was like wow just like this is really interesting i didn't buy it as real you know, I acknowledge that this was actually his problem, not mine. I'm actually a really happy person. He's the one that's miserable. That's his problem, not mine. So you don't buy it as real. You don't make it true for you just because it's one person's opinion based on their limited amounts of energy, based on their limited points of views, okay? So you don't buy it as real. The next thing that you wanna do is to not resist or react. Now, I watched this producer uh, dig into a few other of the people that were there. And a lot of people had a lot of reaction to it. What could that look like? So let's say, you know, let's say he was saying to me, oh, you're fake, you're too much. A reaction could have been like, I'm not fake. I'm not too much. What's your problem, right? So then that would have been me resisting and reacting to the energy that was being delivered. But instead of doing that, I lowered my barriers. I got really present with who I am, the grand and glorious, generative, creative, joyful being that I am. And in that moment of being present with who I am, allowing myself to receive the energy without resisting and without reacting to it, I was able to handle that situation with grace and ease and calm. And I did not let it knock me off of my, you know, um, of I didn't let it knock me off of my center because I, I had six more interviews to do after that. If I had let him ruffle my feathers, it would have potentially screwed up the rest of my interviews. So do not resist and react. Lower your barriers, get present with your body, breathe, and be aware that this person, that you, be aware that you are being more than that person is willing to have. And that is not your problem. That is their problem. Hi, Lisa, welcome. Hi, Alejandra. So the next thing um, is do not align and agree, right? So these are really important energies to be aware of. When are you resisting and reacting to someone? And when are you aligning and agreeing? 
So when I was younger and my dad would like shush me or tell me to be quiet or go sit down or that kids are to be seen and not heard, I aligned and agreed with that point of view. I was like, oh, I'd better quiet down. I better not say anything. Let me just go sit down, right? So I went from this exuberant, joyful child to like the kid standing in the corner just like not talking, not engaging, not being present, right? So that's aligning and agreeing. When someone delivers a judgment to you and you're like, oh my God, yes, you're right. You're right, I am too much. I am too much. When you do it from the place of diminishing yourself, right? Now with this particular producer, I did say to him, you're right, I am too much. But what I was doing in that energy was owning that I am too much for him. That I, I am, and I am too much for most people. When you choose to live orgasmically, and you choose to be that joyful, generative being that you are, when you choose that, you may be too much for other people, but that doesn't mean that you that it's you. <laughs> Have you ever been in a room or at an event or surrounded by people where you're just like, where is everyone? They have like no energy, no energy in their body. They're like kind of uh, sleepwalking through their life, not present, not joyful. That isn't about you. And in those moments, you are gonna be too much for all of those people. But you won't be too much for the people that are actually choosing to create their life, that are actually willing to be joyful and vibrant and alive. You'll be just perfect for them. So all of this is absolutely subjective. <laughs> Don't buy it as real. Not real. It's not real. You have to get present with who you would like to be in the world and choose that no matter what is going on around you. Now, um, after my interview with this particular producer, I got up and I was like, wow, that guy is miserable. Sucks for him. And then I started getting ready for my next interview. And out of 11 producers, 10 of them said yes. My nationwide media TV tour is happening in 2020. Mostly because I did not believe what that guy was saying. I did not believe him. I didn't buy it as real. I didn't resist and react. I didn't align and agree, make myself small. I was like, wow, huh, interesting, this guy, right? So what energy are you unwilling to be that if you allowed yourself to be it would actually start creating the life that you know is possible and for a lot of us that energy is the energy of living orgasmically when you live orgasmically you you get to be the person that creates everything that you desire and if any of this is of interest to you, I would love to invite you to come and play with me in my, my masterclass, The Number One Mistake Keeping You From Living Orgasmically, where I dive into a little bit deeper on like, what is orgasmic living? Why is it important? And what are the things that you're choosing that are keeping you from having that life? What is it that you would like to create? I've had TV media tour on my list of creations for about a year and a half. And every day I chose towards that and I created things and th did things that were towards that vision, towards that ask. I didn't let anyone tell me it wasn't possible. I didn't let anyone tell me that like, you know, why would you do that, right? It was just something that I desired, something that I wanted to create because it lights me up and it makes me happy. So what is it that you would like to choose? And if you'd like to learn more, come and play with me on my masterclass. You can find out more at pattyalfonso.sexy slash mistake, and I'll put the link on here somewhere. And remember, when someone says or delivers the energy that you are too much, straight from the mouth of Dr. Dane here, too much is anything more 
than the most limited amount of energy someone else is willing to have. It's just a judgment. It's not real. Don't resist. Don't react. Don't align. Don't agree. Get present with you and keep choosing. Thank you all so much for being here. I adore you. Stay tuned for more information on my nationwide 2020 media tour. How does it get better? I adore you all. Go forth out into the world and be too much. Bye, everyone.